Welcome back. It's a growing trend. Hair extensions can give you that dream hairstyle. Add volume, length, or color, or even help with hair loss. Orla Johannes, our fashion reporter, got a lowdown on the craze for this week's Spotlight Fashion Report. Will they damage your hair? How will they feel? Will people notice? These are just some of the questions you may be asking yourself when thinking about getting extensions. Well, we're here at the hair clinic in Montreal to find out. Now, the latest craze, especially in Hollywood, everybody's getting extensions, but you can't see them. Well, if you saw the extensions, they wouldn't be worth wearing. And in Hollywood, actually, just about everybody you see on TV mm -hmm. has something to enhance their hair. I call it hair enhancement. Okay. Uh, extensions, falls, hair pieces, anything to add glamour. They're greater than life, and they want to look at it. Yeah. And that's what hair extensions do. Now, tell me, will hair extensions damage your own hair? There are different methods of putting on hair extensions. The old methods that used to use hot glue guns mm -hmm. and weaves and braids do damage your hair because of the heat itself and the stress with the weaving and the braiding. We prefer to use the cold fusion hair extensions. Cold fusion hair extensions do not damage your hair and they are the easiest to use and the most imperceptible. Will people notice the difference apart from the fact your hair is looking gorgeous and thick and long? Um, will people see the extensions? Because I'm sure a lot of people worry about that. It's the biggest concern. If you can see the extensions, then they're not the extensions you should be wearing. Uh, unless you're using them to highlight, you shouldn't see anything. If you're using the same color as the base color of the hair, they should totally disappear in your hair and be quasi-invisible. Mm -hmm. We do help a lot of people with very fine hair, people that have alopecia, people after chemotherapy that want their hair to be long. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to make sure that their hair is strong enough to hold the extension. So people with not enough hair to hold the extension, we have other methods. We have non-surgical grafts, uh, all kinds of other methods. Like what? Well, the non-surgical graft. That's a polymer. It's applied to the scalp. And hair is implanted one by one, follicle by follicle, recreating the follicle, recreating the hair. And you do that here as well? We do that here as well. And you have an array of wigs? We also have an array of about 1,500 wigs at all times. Wow. In many, many colors, in human and synthetic. And uh, we work with a lot of the organizations that help people with cancer. I personally work at um, the Royal Victoria Hospital, mm -hmm. uh, Cancer Fort, and the Hope and Cope at the Jewish General Hospital with cancer, cancer patients. So there you have it. And for more information, folks, log on to extensionscanada.com. It's back to you, Mose.